All right, welcome to Tis the Season, Season 4. Fa la 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 feud for the finals. You are currently looking at the finals. Okay, here we are. Let's start over here by introducing this side. This is Weiser and the three wise men. Jacob Urego. Nicholas Ryan. Kimo Washington. And over here we have... I'm Mr. Campbell with Team Delirious. I'm Jacob. I'm Nate. And I'm Hunter. All right, are we ready to go? All right. Yes, All right, here we go. Let's do it. All right, 100 married men were polled. Name something that's easier to catch than a date. A cold. All right, a cold is yeah. correct. That is number one. Okay, here we go. Name something that's easier to catch than a date. A snail. A snail. snail. All right, good answer. A good snail, answer. Snail. Uh, uh, okay, so something that's easier to catch than a date. A ball. A ball. Yeah, good answer. A ball. Good answer. What an answer. Uh, uh, all right, that's two. Start thinking over there. <laughs> Name something that's easier to catch than a date. Five. Time! Oh, All, right. All right. <laughs> All right, we're going over here. He's got to find one on the board. Mr. Barzok, we think something that's easy to catch is a fish. They're going with a fish. There we go. Good job, All right. Good job. Slide those points on over. Let's see what they miss. What was the fourth one? Oh, frisbee! Ah. Oh. All right, on number three, a bus. Oh. All right, they're off to a lead. Here goes. Oh yes, the Jacobs are battling. Yeah, I kind of missed. All right. <laughs> yeah, I didn't think about it too hard. One hundred gold miners were pulled. Name something not to talk about on the first date. Ex-girlfriends. <laughs> that was fast. Yeah, that, was there it is. Oh, that is a man with some more of wisdom. Uh, right all right. <laughs> Name something not to talk about on the first date. I'm going to go with marriage. Marriage. Oh, yes. Good marriage. Good answer. Okay. okay. All right. Name something not to talk about on the first date. Kids. 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 Yeah. Kids. Good answer. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. 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 All right. Name something not to talk about on the first date. I'm gonna go with politics. Politics. Mm -hmm. yeah. Politics. There, yeah, we there we go. All right. Again. Name something not to talk about on the first date. We're thinking religion. Religion is what they're thinking. Let's yeah. see. Okay. All right, All right. Good answer. All right, again, name something not to talk about on the first date. I'm going to go with how much money you make. Oh, how much money good you answer. make. Uh, All right, start thinking ahead. All right, name something not to talk about on the first date. Uh, we got five. Floss? What? Floss. Floss? Floss. 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 Or floss. Or floss. Floss. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, we're going to go with uh, don't talk about your medical conditions. Your health. Your medical conditions or your health. There we go. Good job, guys. Good job. Good job. Good job. That's how you do that. All right, let's see if Floss was up there. Who knows? Let's see. <laughs> Unemployed. Oh, no. All right. Okay. Let's slide it over. The next group. Come on. Let's do this. You got that, Nick? All right. 100 beekeepers were polled. Name fictional foods from TV, movies, and pop culture. I'm going to go with, I know the name 
Time! Over to you. Krabby Patties. Krabby Patties? Oh, there we go! go. Oh. Alright, they're gonna take it with Krabby Patties. Alright, I'm looking for fictional foods from pop culture. What are we going with? I'm thinking blue milk. Blue milk! Blue milk, oh, good one. Oh. All right, fictional foods. Butterbeer? Butterbeer. Is butterbeer up there? It is. Okay. Fictional foods from TV or movies. Uh, sea salt ice cream. Sea salt ice cream. Okay, that's two. Oh, jeez. All right, start pondering. Name fictional foods from TV, movies, and pop culture. Uh, I'm gonna go with the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Turtles pizza. Teenage Their pizza. Mutant Ninja Turtles pizza <laughs> is incorrect. All right, we're so over cool. here. Let's see. What are we going with? We're going to go with well, Roast Beast. Yeah, the Who's and Whoville. And the We're going with the Who's beast. and Whoville. They're going with the Roast Beast. Ah. Oh. Ah. All right, let's see. What was number five? After they get those points over there. What was number five? The Gray Stuff. Ah. 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 It's delicious. Ah. Ah. I don't even know what that's from. Beauty and the Beast. Yeah. Ah. Number three. The Everlasting oh, Gods. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. And yeah. number two, Scooby Snacks. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh, yeah. I actually think both of them. All right, here we go. Right. We Team need up. to get Come you guys some points here. Come on, cut that! One hundred English teachers were polled. Name someone who could be jealous of Santa's powers. The Grinch. The Grinch. Is the Grinch up there? Oh. All right, he's got to get it on the board, and it's yours. It's all you. Jealous of Santa's powers. Darth Vader. Darth Vader. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we're back this to the team. Is this, is weird question. Question. <laughs> this is all you, so. Say the question again, please. Name someone who would be jealous of Santa's powers. Um... I don't know, the Easter Bunny. The Easter Bunny? Yeah! Let's go! Let's However, go. All right, all right. if you can name one higher, this could be yours. Jack Skellington. Jack <coughs> Skellington? All right, so here we go. We are over to you guys to roll with it. Get ready to steal. Um, a thief. Thief. Ooh. A thief. <laughs> Breaking into yeah. houses. Yeah. yeah. All, All right, that's one on them. Here we go. Um, in house is like, oh. The tooth fairy. That's the tooth fairy. Tooth fairy. Yes. There we go. Oh, there right. we go. On the board. What do you think? Name someone who could be jealous of Santa's powers. Krampus. Krampus. Oh, Krampus. Oh. Krampus. 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 Oh. All right. There we go, we're back to you. Name someone who could be jealous of Santa's powers. Mr. Marzok. Mr. Marzok. <laughs> Good answer. Oh! oh that was number one. All right, right. he's got to get one on there. These points are yours. All right, I think we're going to go with all of the elves. All of the oh, elves. The Is that up there? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. yes! All right, those points are there. Slide them over. And let's see what number six was. Humans. Number five. <laughs> leprechauns. Uh, uh, yeah. And Mrs. Mrs. Claus. Uh, Marital discontent uh, always gets it. Uh, <laughs> all right, here it is. Here we go. One hundred barbers were polled. Name the most influential people with beards. Santa Claus. Santa Claus is up there. You can name someone higher. It's yours to take. Was 
Is that a plush kid with beards? Mm, the devil, I don't know. The devil! <laughs> the <laughs> devil! <laughs> oh, wow! Ooh, that got dark fast. <laughs> okay, it's yours! I didn't even think of anybody. Okay. Alright, here we go. And name the most influential people with beards. We'll go with Jesus. They're going with Jesus! <laughs> Good answer. Yeah. 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 All right, name the most influential <laughs> people with beards. I'm going to go with Abraham Lincoln. Abraham Lincoln good. is correct. Nice. All right. <laughs> name the most influential people with beards. <laughs> Mr. T. Mr. T. Yeah, great answer. Great answer. Ah, one strike on him. Here we go. Most influential people with beards. Ulysses S. Grant. <laughs> Ulysses S. Grant. Ulysses S. Grant? Oh. All right, get ready to steal. Here we go. Name the most influential people with beards. We got five. Um, three. Two. We'll go with Mr. Campbell. Mr. Campbell. Great Mr. answer. Campbell. Great answer. Great answer. Great answer. Uh, uh, yeah, I should have been. For our influential person with a beard, we're going to go with uh, the famous pirate Blackbeard. Blackbeard the pirate. Oh, oh. slide those points on over. Let's see what we missed. Number six. Leonardo Ooh, da Vinci. Bang. Uh, Number five, <laughs> Zeus. Zeus. Oh, yes. uh, and number four, Chuck, Chuck Norris. Norris. Oh. Oh, All right, he but it looks <laughs> like our final score, 282 to 153. It looks oh, like. Boys. Let's go! Oh, let's go! Oh, 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 the the uh, four Pete! Uh, all four! four. Thank four you guys all for watching, and we will see you next year.